welcome once again to all our viewers on Super Sport, your world of champions. We're broadcasting live from the University of Johannesburg, Soweto campus, in Visa Hall. It has been an amazing day of varsity netball with a full display of phenomenal netball at this arena. Today, we will witness UJ, the Orange Army, take on UFS Bossi in today's final game. The Orange Army currently have the home ground advantage. UJ has ball in possession, and we see how they're charging down. These ladies are ready. They're aware of how important this game is. Nontle, I'm joined by Nontle up here, up here in commentary. Nontle, tell me, what do you think these, what um, Coach Wongi said to the girls before they got on court, considering how high the stakes are for this game? You know what, uh, knowing Bongi, I played with her, I know how she operates. He probably said to the girls, you know, you got to decide whether you want to be in that top four or you don't want. It's still too early, we're seeing some good stuff coming from UJ Bolt and from uh, Rakosis. Um, I think one thing that st stands out for me is that that combination is the inclusion of Bianca Pinar on that goal shooter position. I mean, when I saw her starting today, I think the question was, where was she yesterday? Why wasn't she included in that game yesterday? Because it, she was really needed. I think one thing that the Zola needs to do is never to position herself behind Sammy. Any defender, for that matter. You can never position yourself behind a player. Listen, I love the patience from Kofsis. They're so clinical and, and instrumental in thinking about how they feed this ball, taking care of it, and they cover it up. It's oh, just the one goal good. difference. Yeah. This is good work. I think this is the strongest mid-court pair. Ulondega as well as Usane. I, those girls are on fire, non. I, I, I can't even, I have no words. Look at how they, that attack inside of, ooh, splitting that defense. My goodness, Shanika Smith. Man, well, we needed that girl on that shooter. Sometimes the tricks are a little bit necessary for the yeah. court. Good work, nice Good feed, offload. and she secures the shot. As another Dodan actually said to me, you know, if you put a winning defense that is tall and you have a goal defense also that is tall, um, you kind of um, kind of restricting the, the vision. The only thing that I feel like the, the UJ side is, do, is, side is doing is it's exposing the field. Because the reason why she's extending that arm is because she's trying to get free and to, to receive this long ball to, to her, to, I mean, in the, in the circle. Zante Furi is very dangerous and today I think she is switched on on that goal attack but another player that is really switched on it is Mushuri Sachuayo Panache of Beds. If you're talking about someone who's really leading from the front you can put her anywhere anywhere literally anywhere she will uh, you know give you the performance of your life. Yeah, looking forward to that power play hoping to to for uh, Coach Beta rather to play that power play um, too soon. Um, if she doesn't take it, the last two minutes of the game will automatically be the power play for forces. Nice take there. Delanga sold her body out for that ball, but she was able to retrieve it. And Delanga securing the shot. Uh, pardon me. Might see some changes coming from the Corses side. Short shot by Shanika Smith. Oh, that was good play. Good upload to Shanika. Can she take it? Yes, she does. Back to two. Look at that. Oh, oh. there. Oh, oh, good one. Oh, <laughs> take that by bag. Sam Kuvani. <laughs> <laughs> and as you can see in the the score breakdown, there it has been a. a, a um, a quite evenly spaced game. They executed the plan. It was not all roses. It was not all consistent. But they managed to take a win here today. And I think they're going to have to thank their fans for that. Oh, tears of joy. She's in disbelief. She couldn't understand. She could not believe. Both sees sitting at a final score of 37 
and UJ at 40 goals. It was a very tough game for the Gulf Sea side.